All right, guys, welcome back to the episode of the Subscriber Dynasty, man. Episode 248, we're at the end of the season. We just finished. Uh, we got just got done with the bowl games. Just going to go over some of the stats for everybody um, and see where everybody ended and all that all that jazz. Let's check out conference standings, see how everybody ended up. Uh, we'll just probably go to the top conferences. Um, and we are not any of the power schools. Now, Sunbelt, I think what I need to do is add another team here. And I'll probably do that just to give a conference championship to make it a little bit more interesting. Um, give those guys another game towards the end of the season. Um, for the American, uh, I think that one is set up pretty good. But, I mean, <laughs> two dudes battling it out for the number one slot over there. The Conference USA, I think we had an issue with an uneven number of teams. We're 13, um, which prevented uh, Marshall which is Dr. Duncan Stein and the Italian Western Kentucky from playing each other. So even though Western Kentucky had a better overall record in the conference, he didn't get a chance to play, which is unfortunate. Um, but we will definitely rectify that next year. We're going to move some teams around and make that happen. Independence, we have three teams in Independence. Um, we'll probably move like Army somewhere, Notre Dame somewhere, and BYU, maybe move another team out just to kind of get rid of the Independence altogether because we don't really need them. The MAC, Eastern Michigan, Central Michigan, Ball State. Those guys over there, I think that's set up pretty good still. And Mountain West, which is myself and Utah State, who joined in late and put up a doozy of a fight, man. I'm looking forward to seeing what he could do next season with his recruits and all that. I'm starting fresh. Heisman winner, take a look at that once again. Bell Jr. from Eastern Michigan wins that. UL Lafayette, UCF, UL Lafayette, and then Eastern Michigan. And once again, powerhouse offense is right there. All-Americans. See who who won what awards. I'm just gonna kind of go through it. I'm I'm gonna point out people that aren't users: Florida State, Ohio State, Michigan State, Georgia, um, Oregon, Oklahoma, Cal, Florida State, and that's it. So myself and the Italian didn't make first team all NCAA. <laughs> the second team, uh, I mean, we got a lot of UCF, SMU, Marshall, uh, Eastern Michigan. Like we got a lot of users, man. I don't think I didn't have a single person make a daggum first team. I didn't make first team, second team, all NCAA. I know I made all, all Mac, right? Or not Mac, I'm Mountain West. <laughs> Whoops. I'm so used to rooting for the Mac. I got some second team. Peck, Peck's not oh, first team. Peck's not second team. What are you thinking, man? I'm um, Lewis, Madsen, my secondary. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, my secondary made it. That's... That's kind of a joke. <laughs> I don't think they did a championship contender. So based off how we ended up, what's our projections looking at for next year? That's what I'm looking forward to. So right now, Eastern Michigan's number one. They're projected to be 110, 96, and 102. SMU, 101, 94, 69. So his recruiting is going to help him out quite a bit there. UL Lafayette, same thing. Moving on up. UCF, moving on up. He'll probably be the first one in the top 25 uh, based off recruits. Um, to start the season, I would assume more than likely, at least according to that. Uh, myself, 109 next year. I thought I was recruiting pretty good, but I guess not. Uh, it is what it is, though. We don't. We do what we can, <laughs> and no more, no less. We can only do. We can only, we're only in control of what we can control, as they say, whoever they are. But anyways, I mean, we're we got our works good out for us. That's for dang sure. Um, nobody's. <laughs> Nobody's really going to have a free ride. we got to build these teams up. That's what's going to make it fun. That's what's going to make it a blast. Um, I don't know why I'm going through the max. Well, we just want to look at the top. Uh, Eastern Michigan, UL Lafayette, UCF. I mean, they'll probably take a bowling ball. Dude, he came up there and, and put in some work. I'm watching all the Italian play. Look at that. Golly. So many, so many users, man. It's like all they are. Or users. I don't ever expect to win any of these awards. Some of these guys put up insane amount of points. So if I ever win an award, I'm pumped. Every time I see FSU, I thought I saw the Italian again. Maybe I didn't. Every time I see FSU, I think Fresno State, but I think it's FS for Fresno State, not University. Oh well. Marshall up there, West Kentucky again. I mean everybody just everywhere. Whole bunch of whole bunch of users up here for some awards. Guy, Arkansas State, best returner, didn't even make that. So it's all good. We did what we could. We uh, produced to the best of our abilities. We want to check out team stats. Is that what it is? 
team stats for just users. Um, I was actually pretty decent up there. I was like, I, I thought I could just do that and get, get to see the users. Really? There we go. All right. So the only one that's missing here, we got four, five, six, seven, eight. We're missing quite a bit of people here. Uh, myself. Hmm. Well, there's a way we could just see all the users and kind of compare that, but that's, that's offense. That's not going to be me by any means. I mean, it jumped straight to me. Let me let me back out and go back into it. Maybe it was set up right. I don't know. I don't want all of our all of our stats to be together. Can I just do users games? Users? Can I see users, please? No. Dang it. I mean, there there we go. That's the majority of them right there. The top teams. We'll go through those. Now for right now, then we'll scroll through and see everybody else on offense. You all be at Eastern Michigan UCF with a freaking offense, dude. Golly. A lot of offensive yards, a lot of passing yards. They got that passing game down. Utah State pretty even. SMU pretty even. Um, UL Lafayette very even. Only 600 difference for putting up that many points a game. That's pretty crazy. You only got sacked nine times. I got sacked way more than nine times. What was that? Eight. So we need four more. Myself, I did all right. I threw the ball very well compared to my running game, but compared to some of these other guys, not very good at all. And then, was that nine? Arkansas State, pretty good running the ball. He was like the exact opposite of me. <laughs> so I'm curious on what your offense is there, Arkansas State. What, what, what do you run to run the ball so effectively? I was having a hard time running. Western Kentucky, even it's all get out. What was that 47 yards difference? That's what you need as an offense, being able to uh, be not one-dimensional. Works out really good. Central Michigan tearing it up on offense as well. And I think that's everybody. Um, fairly positive. Defense? Oklahoma with the best defense. Who's who's the top user? What's your guess? Arkansas State. That too. <laughs> Arkansas State doing work over there. Western Kentucky, number two for the users. Not giving up a lot of yards. But, I mean, people that score a lot, probably on defense a lot also. Central Michigan, number three. I was like, I'll probably be here pretty quick. SMU up, not, not giving up a whole lot of yards either. 258 points. Who gave up the fewest amount of points? I saw a computer with only 211, so I, I know somebody's better than we are. Gave up a lot of passing yards, man. I gave up almost as many yards as I put up and somehow only lost three games, which is crazy. Didn't get a lot of turnovers, though. Uh, Marshall. Marshall did pretty good. Getting the 34 turnovers total. Utah State. Louisiana Tech, there we go. Yeah, see, the uh, the point putter uppers <laughs> spend a little bit more time on defense than the rest of us. So it's gonna be 98 sacks, dude. Is that is that the record? 98 sacks. Yup. Fumbles 20 for Marshall. Ints. UCF. Eastern Michigan. Running the show there. Don't want to look at conversions or red zone penalties. Who gets the most penalties? Western Kentucky with the fewest, with only five all season. With all the clipping penalties and everything, you only got five penalties there, Diane. Come on, man. How you doing it? What's your trick? I mean, I had 17. Um, who had the most? Marshall, 63. Utah State, 65. I mean, for users, I think that's 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 a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of penalties, man. Um, I don't know why those turned a different color. That's weird. Turnover difference. This is a huge one. Difference. Eastern Michigan had a 12. And then you see UCF, Louisiana Tech, SMU up there. Giveaways. I want, I want you giveaways because I know I'm probably way up there. See who had the most giveaways. Ball State 40, 35, 30, 30. Yeah, I threw a lot of interceptions. 25 uh, for myself. Way up there. Fumbles? I didn't fumble a whole lot. Michigan, Central Michigan didn't fumble at all. Dude. Talk about old lines of that football. Takeaways, UCF, Eastern Michigan, Marshall, SMU, Louisiana Tech. Interceptions and then fumbles. Marshall doing work over there. Dang man! So another another season in the books. We are done. We are ready to move on and get the next season started. So yeah, um, we're gonna take probably a week or so off at the very least. I mean, we might get through the off season stuff pretty quick, but just to give myself a little bit of a break because I know during the season a lot of a lot of the guys were. Or a lot of you guys were saying that I probably needed a break from the game just to kind of recharge. I'm still doing the Patreon as well. But, I mean, just kind of cut down on all the videos for a little bit. 
um, to, to refresh, recharge, get everything in my personal life taken care of, hopefully um, getting the majority of that done. So um, just a little bit of a downtime, but we'll be back, man. We'll be back for another season. That's for dang sure. But as of right now, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. I want to give a huge shout out to everybody that supported me via Patreon. Um, it's not required or anything like that. I don't really advertise it or anything. But as a special thank you for the people that have donated, um, this is just my little credit section that's going to run at the end of every video. So hope you guys enjoy, and thank you once again for the support. It means a lot to to my family and I. Um, helps helps me continue to do this because this is just a part time like hobby for me. And uh, it takes away from family time outside of my 9 to 5 job. So I appreciate it. Each and every person who watches my videos as well as supports it. As well as the people that are supporting via Patreon. It really means a lot. So thank you.